What is something that you never told your ex? That I cheated on him more than once. When I really, I told him I cheated on him once, I actually cheated on him like 10 times. Same guy or different guy? Same guy. <laughs> we were together for five years. <laughs> Y'all were together for five years? Five years. Why you decided to cheat on him? Because we were together for five years, what does he mean? Uh, You're gonna have the same for that long? Like, that's crazy. The reason we don't like you following other girls or liking other girls' posts is not just because we're so insecure. It's because when you send that like, that follow, whatever, you are actively showing that girl that you have some type of interest in her. You are actively showing her that whatever relationship you are in right now does not matter to you. A lot of women have been through this before and we do not like our men doing that. Because a lot of us women had already gone through that before, we know that like you just sent to us was not a, oh, well, I just randomly liked the photo because I liked the background. We know it's because you like what you're seeing. And bro, you gotta choose your woman wisely, bro. Some niggas just cool with a nice face and a nice ass. I'm not one of them niggas, bro. Before I let a woman come around me, I look at what your mind's like, what your mental's like. What your morals are like, what your priorities are. Are you a woman that's gonna be able to understand my grind? Is she gonna be able to understand where a nigga trying to go? A woman in your life should add to what you got going on, bro. I don't want to obey my husband. And that same woman will go to her job and her boss tells her he wants something done by Monday. She'll say, yes, sir. She goes home, the trash people say, put your trash out on Tuesday. She'll say, yes, sir. She'll go to the hospital, the doctor tells her, take these pills. She'll say, yes, sir. But the man that loves her and wants to provide and protect for her, she has a problem obeying him. That's why you're single. without putting no ring on it nothing but you draw the line and making a sandwich for a man what in the f is going on he ain't gotta give me no type of commitment but but the minute that i'm really i'm really i'm really gonna act up is what he asked me to do to, to sweep the damn floor or or to clean the damn dishes they always talk about i'm not your mama why don't you ladies know how to be submissive to your man you don't have to be his mama just because you cook it for him and you take care of him what is the problem with catering to your man? If my man is hungry, if that's my man, if I'm around here claiming that this is my man, this is who I want to be with or whatever, and my man is hungry, I'm going to get my up and I'm going to go cook. I feel like a man should never have to tell me to do certain that I just already should naturally be doing. Like, that's an embarrassment. Like, if a man got to tell me to clean up, you should, I should feel embarrassed, correct? We're not the only people that's in a relationship that needs to be catered to. Men need their back rooms. I'm going to rub my man's feet. A man loses the second he puts a woman over his purpose. So the woman he's dealing with has to be aligned with his purpose. She has to add to him. She cannot take it away. So if you're not where you need to be yet and she hollering, oh, he ain't doing enough. He ain't paying these bills or taking me shopping. Listen, cut that bitch off the roster. If all he does is work, come home, watches any sports, drinks a few beers and all he wants to do is stay home and cuddle that's my type of husband material hey handsome i got you a nice cool beard thank you i know you must be real tired oh uh, yes i am i had a long day would you like a one hour food massage or two hour one two hours would you like steak i like both babe if you don't mind your remote thank you babe. you can spend as much time as you want with the boys and if you need anything else say got got to you net you women in the hood you got the mother nations women that they the dreaming and fantasizing about us and they're open they're straight up open so we don't need we don't need to practice randy inside joke if you know what i'm talking about you're good anyway we don't need Israelite women to bring back the nation.